So earlier today I made an announcement on Facebook that um, I broke up with the nerd, which I did. And uh, I'm just going to kind of expand on it. Long story short, um, I don't want... I don't want her, you know, not that her ex is some, like, um, good-looking dude, you know, but I just don't like the guy. He's a fucking loser. And, uh, I told her, I don't want you guys sleeping under the same roof. And she's like, well, I'm sleeping in the travel trailer. It's got one little bed. It's about this big. It's about as big as a card table. And then there's, like, one or two other little, like, bench beds that, you know, maybe a kid or a dog could fit on so all before this time she had gone she had been acting like a bitch to me and we had been arguing about stuff in the morning and whatever and I know she was under a lot of stress and I just kind of swept it under the rug and um, I just you know let it go come on stop this fucking dog I'm ready to yoke him come on come on buddy come on I don't want you in there come on thinks he's a wild animal. Um, come on, this way. Go. <laughs> Go poop somewhere. So, uh, long story short, she had, the first day she gets there, it's like, you know, you're sleeping in a trailer next to somebody's house in the fucking meth capital of the world, you know what I mean? I don't know what fucking neighborhood you're in, who these people are. Your husband, your ex-husband, he's, you know, not the brightest star in the sky. I don't know what he... You know, you know, fucking Ted Bundy could break in there. So I'm like calling her and uh, calling her and calling her. And it's like, you know, 8 o'clock. The kids had to go to school. It's 8 o'clock. Oh, I went back to bed. And I go, okay. Well, you sound funny. Well, come to find out she's hung over, you know, the first night they and uh, we were drinking and stuff. And I'm like, who are you drinking with? Oh, we had dinner over there. You know, my husband, my ex-husband slept inside the house and I slept in the trailer with the kids. All right, whatever, you know. I'm the one that said go for two weeks. You know what I mean? The first time and this time. Go for two weeks. Don't go for a week. Go see your kid. You know, I'm thinking, you know, whatever. So, you know, um, I always just told her, don't ever fucking put me in a position, okay, where you just are fucking nonchalant about my feelings or whatever, okay? So, um, I'm texting her this morning. Last night... Like, she's just not making sense. So I call her. She sent me some pictures that I've never seen of her before. And then they disappeared. And I'm like, where are the pictures? And I call her. And she's, you know, she's drunk. And she's at her kid's birthday party. And I'm like, what the fuck are you guys doing? You know what I mean? Like, you sound like you're kind of fucked up. No, I'm not. And, you know, she sounded okay. So I was like, whatever. So this morning I call her. You know, it's like... You know, 8.30, 9 o'clock, their time, she's still in bed, and I'm like, what's up, you hung over, and she's like, yeah, a little bit, um, last night after my kid's birthday party, um, the adults had a party, and, uh, this guy punched this other guy in the face, and, you know, and I go, adult party, yeah, cocaine, you know, crystal meth, you know, I'm sure they weren't just drinking fucking wine coolers and, you know, playing Yahtzee, you know what I mean, because it's my first day on the playground. So we're talking, and I said, yeah, it's not, you scale back on the drinking and shit, okay? I don't know what you're, you know, your kid's there, and, you know, whatever. So she goes hang up the phone, and I hear her husband, I hear a guy in there, and I go, so I'm listening to him talking and talking, and I'm like, I'm like, let me call her back. So I call her back, and I go, who's in the, where are you? She goes, I'm in the travel trailer. I go, who's in there with you? She goes, oh, my, uh, you know, my ex. I go, What's he doing in that little ass travel trailer with you at 9 o'clock in the morning? Oh, he's looking for a shirt. I don't know. I just woke up. Okay. I go, you know what? I'm going to call you on video. You know? I call him and I go, what are you doing in there with my girlfriend? You know what I mean? And he wouldn't even look at me. It's the first sign. Okay? He's like, I slept in here. And I, he's like, what's your problem, man? I go, are you fucking kidding me? You slept in there? next to her in this little and I said to her I thought he was getting a shirt she goes oh I know the look on her face I already know she had been caught you know what I mean she had nothing she wasn't planning on so when I called she said shh so anyways I just told her when you come home you got 30 days to get your shit and figure out what you're gonna do um you know you can clean out this you're not coming to my bedroom but you can clean out this back room and 
and all that, you know, stuff. And, uh, you know, she just tries to, like, you know, listen, any wife of mine or fiancé of mine that would be that casual about this shit, I don't want to marry, okay? And it's just been one thing after another, you know? I got her the new place down here. I find fucking cocaine in my house. You know, the first day she moved in with me at the other house, she brings cocaine to my house. You know what I mean? And I know she was early in her addiction. I mean, she's come a long way. Whatever the fuck. That's not what this is about. I don't, listen, I don't even give a fuck if his little micro dick slept next to her. I don't even care if he slept next to her all night and nothing happened and she didn't know about it. It's just the fact that she lied about it. Her first reaction was to lie, okay? And if you have to lie about it, you're doing something that you shouldn't be doing. So her kids were going to come here, okay, because this fucking douchebag in Idaho can't, you know, seem to make it happen with $23 an hour because he's putting it up his nose or in a fucking pipe or whatever the fuck, and he's a fucking piece of shit. You know, he's got his kids in a fucked up position. And I said, I've had enough of this shit. Your kids are just going to come here and they're just going to live here from now on. This is this is over. So here I am ready to take this position on. I don't want to be anybody's fucking dad. I don't know if you notice this. I don't have any kids, okay? It's because I don't want a bunch of them running around driving me nuts, okay? <clears throat> but I'm willing to, because I love her, um, you know, have them here, you know? And we'll fucking just, don't worry about it, I'll get a second job, or whatever we gotta do, we'll make it work. Then this happens. Every time the kids are gonna come here, something fucking happens, okay? I'm gonna pay for the fucking tickets for her kids to come here, I find coke, you know? So, I just said, listen, your kids aren't coming here, okay? You can go there for the summer if you're still even here. But this has run its course, okay? This has run its course. Quit eating shit, you fucking retard. This has run its course, and I'm just over it. I don't, and I, listen, I don't care. You know, listen, I'll just tell you this. You want to know how I know I'm right? Because I've never had this feeling. Come here. Come on. I've never had this feeling about her where um, I've literally been, um, like, sick to my stomach, you know? And I just said, uh, here it is. Come here, bud. I just said, this time, come on. Come here. Come on. Don't fuck with me tonight, okay? I'll grab you right by your fucking neck. Let's go. Chips. I know I don't hear my little English cat down here fucking me, but of course. But, you know, yeah, there, there's Chips. So, this whole time she's been gone, she hasn't, she, I've had to go like, hey, you know, I want to hear from you in the morning. I want to know that you're okay. She's just been, you know, fucking distant. All this shit. Long story short, listen, long story short, I don't want nothing to happen to her. I love the girl. I'm not sure she's going to be able to live here that long with me, that I'm going to put up with her shit any longer. But I'm no longer fucking entertaining. It's just too many. It's just, listen, I don't give a fuck, Okay. If I was in a trailer with an ex-girlfriend and you called and we just woke up and I said she had a t-shirt, she went to, she was just coming in here to get her laundry from, for work or something, you'd be like, motherfucker, are you out of your mind? I'm, you know what I mean? So, listen, the appearance of evil to me is evil. I don't care what anybody says. I'm not giving her a fuck. Stop, okay? I'm not giving her another fucking chance, okay? Unless God gives me direct word, I can just tell you right now, I've just had enough. I've just had enough, okay? I've done so much for this fucking bitch. I've just done, I've, I'm, I mean, it's just, you're, you're starting to fucking make me look like, an, like, a, like, a, like you're embarrassing me. Do you know what I mean? You're embarrassing me. You like trash, go fucking live in Idaho, go be a bartender. Your kids aren't coming to live here and ruining my fucking life, I can tell you that. So, that's what's, you know, I mean, people go, oh, why are you telling your business? You know, listen, I'm just telling people because, you know, I put up with a lot of shit to get, to get her here today. And to get, and I'm just telling you, I, I told her one more fucking, one more little fucking outburst. I don't give a fuck what it is. It's over. Okay, one more fucking, let me find a fucking dollar bill with some flour on it, bitch, and you're out of here. 